hello friends uh, i am getting so many personal messages that uh, uh, they are look my subscribers are looking for uh, to configure the backup reports for multiple sql server at single email so first open your uh, notepad and write the instance name and paste the all the sql server for which you want to prepare a database backup reports first thing is done now this is the powershell code so which i got from this sql server dba now okay so i have just modified this code uh, like since i don't have any smtp so i manually uh, issued that uh, my uh, email ids and uh, plain password as well for to show you that demo how you got that email okay so i have observed some issues so that uh, while doing uh, to you i don't want to face that so that's the reason i am sharing my experience whenever you configure this email and you replace that you, you everything you will get an error saying that uh, uh, saying output file dot html is not found why because it will not get generated okay until unless until unless you mention this point here okay for the first time you have to mention this point after that if you use the same report it it will prompt an error it's not error it's just like it will throw like error okay so that uh, output.html file being used in another process so for the first time you have to keep this uh, for the second time onwards, uh, I mean, uh, I mean to say, like from next time onwards, you just uh, um, comment this line, 97 line. Okay. Let's assume that you, uh, your SMTP is working and every uh, no need to issue the password and everything. So remove this one first. One two line you have to remove, and you can uncomment all these and you pass respective details. Come to here. Okay. So you can uh, you can un remove these uncommented lines. Okay, you can remove uncommented, and you can uh, I mean you can nothing. The, just you can uncomment these lines and everything. You can remove this one and two. Okay, so uncomment this uh, one or two line, and one or one th one one nine, and you can remove this one whole thing. Okay, so if SM SMTP is working, okay these are the things you need to do from your end then only you don't get any errors so right now if you see my file there are no output files anything and if you i open that my email id so i am removing everything trash and everything so i don't have any email id see now if i click execute button here that output file has to be get generated and email has to be get generated uh, has to be there okay so if i click execute here i am i am showing the live okay if i click execute see i am i am having three windows just click execute and where i need you need to pass credentials here you need to pass the credentials here you need to your outlook email you need to uh is the you need to pass your outlook uh outlook password so outlook email id and uh, sorry uh, you outlook from to whom we need to send you need to send here here you can mention in real time you can that for security reasons i am not uh, mentioning this thing and everything okay okay i am minimizing this thing everything for to hide the password i am adjusting that okay so click execute yeah see output file got generated now you can refresh see output file got generated now open that click download now open html file see this is how you can um, configure backup reports for prod or non-prod separately okay now I will show one more thing. If I click execute here, so I will show that error. Okay. See that file output was there. 
okay this one being used on brother if you remove this line okay i'm hiding for the, my password is there that's the reason i'm hiding this one click execute so it is still executing in that see it has done see I didn't got any error since my password is also there that's the reason I am hiding all this so I, I didn't get any error now okay so that's the reason I asked you to uncomment here instead of not removing that uh, so first uncomment that line for second time onwards after that not required so you just configure this code in PowerShell and you can use task manager to configure the reports for a specific time whenever you want that daily you want if you want to see at 6 30 you can configure okay so this is how you can configure the backup reports without any issues i hope you may like this video i work very hard and done n number of trials to make this error free and uh, i mean to make this away and also very simple for you so please do comment your opinion and encourage me to do further more videos. Thank you. Bye.